What's going on guys, it's Omni Ark and today I want to bring you a brand new video talking about what I really want Call of Duty to do in 2017 uh, and it feels almost like this video is in vain because the game is is so far in development that anything that I talk about here that they haven't already implemented, uh, it's probably too late, but I just wanted to talk about it, maybe for COD 2018, who knows, um, but like I said, you know, uh, I really just want to talk about this because me, myself, um, and many others in the community who have been playing Call of Duty since 2007 or whatever for 10 years now basically um, we are tired of Call of Duty and I think I speak for a lot of people when I say I haven't really touched Infinite Warfare that much you know this game is bad uh, it's not fun to play it doesn't feel like a finished Call of Duty um, and it's just overall just not a not a fun game at all not it's not even not a fun Call of Duty game it's not even a fun game just period so um, yeah I mean I don't know I just have completely lost interest in Call of Duty, so I wanted to talk about um, things that I want to see in the upcoming Call of Duty uh, in hopes that, you know, um, maybe Call of Duty can get its head out of its ass and realize that it's literally sinking its own ship for no fucking reason. So, uh, you know, Call of Duty has been a successful franchise for so long now, and it's super, super um, sad to see the things that they're doing pushing their players away when you had a successful franchise that you you easily could have continued uh, to make successful and yet it's not successful so let's just talk about a couple of things uh, the first thing obviously I don't want jetpacks and I know um, maybe there's some people who watching watching who like jetpacks I don't know um, to me I hate them it, it's just it I don't think I need to explain why. Um, I've made videos about it before. Everybody and their mother has talked about jetpacks and uh, you know how they want boots on the ground and whatever. Um, I've went in depth prior to this. Um, I don't. It's on my channel somewhere. But I just talk about the randomness that it adds when you add a third dimension where you can boost jump out of someone's uh, off of someone's screen basically, um, and how you can go in any direction and how that's just complete complete chaos and there's no way for you to like accurately predict that. So. Um, you can't counter it with skill in many cases. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about uh, jetpacking versus not jetpacking. Personally, I don't want jetpacks. Now, um, what I will say is I am used to a faster paced Call of Duty. Um, because of Black Ops 3 uh, and Infant er, Advanced Warfare, I'm used to a faster paced Call of Duty because of the jetpacks. Um, I propose that you take away jetpacks and simply add marathon lightweight make that default for everybody you could sprint forever and you sprint a little bit faster than the old call of duties that's that's what i that's what i would say that keeps the game fast paced uh and it keeps it so that way you know it's not it doesn't have that uh the slow feel and i will say you know modern warfare remastered is a really really great remaster i really do like the game uh but i haven't even been playing that recently either because a it's a game that i used to play all the fucking time uh so it just doesn't have my attention like a new call of duty would because like i said i've played it a ton um, but it's also a lot slower and that's you know that's just how the game has aged and I'm not saying it's not a good game and I'm not saying that it doesn't hold up uh, but it doesn't hold up as good as when it first came out you know when it, when it first came out uh, Mono, or Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was just like revolutionary it was amazing um, and now we're used to faster paced games you know not just Call of Duty in general but faster paced first person shooters just across the board uh, and faster paced everything so um, you know a lot's happened in 10 years in, in the gaming industry and you know I think that going back to the Call of Duty 4 roots isn't necessarily a complete fix for the series because like I said everyone's used to faster paced stuff so instead of just saying oh we'll be boots on the ground well let's try and meet somewhere in the middle where it's yes it's no jetpacks it is boot up boots on the ground but let's give everyone marathon lightweight let's make the game faster in that way uh, and that way it's a middle ground you're not boost jumping everywhere boost sliding and doing all this crazy shit uh, but you are moving faster than Call of Duty 4 I think that's fair the other aspect is uh, supply drops we gotta just just fucking if you can't do it right just don't fucking do it um, <laughs> so advanced warfare uh, was the first to just try supply drops and they put in variants and that was complete shit uh, variants is it ruin it putting in variants removes the competitiveness from the game uh, and I think Call of Duty needs to go more towards the competitive nature and the esports scene so we need to talk about no variant just no variants nothing you can put in you can put in guns, put guns in the supply drops, but make them 
identical to a gun that's already in the game for free um but just have it reskinned you know if you're gonna put a sniper in the supply drop, you know if you want to put the 50 cal in the in a supply drop make it the exact same stats as a gun that everyone has access to that's that's all i have to say about that put melee weapons in it's the same as the knife but it looks like an axe that's cool put uh you know put cosmetic things in and don't put the shit that you put in black ops 3 where it's like oh you got a super rare rapid fire variant like dude it's a little knob on the fucking gun who gives a shit that's just filler garbage you can't even see that on the fucking gun when you equip it and half the time you forget that you even unlock the shit so don't put any of that filler shit in there okay do it right don't put any filler garbage, don't put any overpowered or unbalanced weapons in there, just put skins for guns, skins for melee weapons, and skins for my character, and then, you know, maybe emblems or something, I don't even know. Not even though, fuck that, that's, that's, that's more filler garbage, fuck that shit. We want good supply drops, and if you actually make them not only cosmetic, but actually cool cosmetic stuff, not filled with all the random variant, uh, you know, st different stock, whatever, then people will still buy them. Th that's the thing, you know. I'm sure when they went from Advanced Warfare with the um, with the variants, when they went to Black Ops 3, they probably saw a decrease in the amount of people buying supply drops because there's not good guns on them. So they probably were like, "Oh shit!" You know, when Infinite Warfare comes out, put put variants back in, and that's fucking pathetic and garbage. And I'm really upset that they did that. Um, but Infinite Warfare is just a joke anyway, so we won't even talk about all the flaws that that piece of shit has. Does it even have leaderboards yet? I don't even know. Anyway, you know, they probably saw a decrease in purchasing through Black Ops 3, so that's why they put them back in Infinite Warfare. My suggestion is, instead of doing what you did with Black Ops 3, where you put in all the stupid emblem shit and the stupid variants for your stock and your rapid fire and long barrel and shit, instead of all those fucking filler shit, Put actual stuff in there, put actual cool stuff, actual cool calling cards, like animated calling cards, it's cool camos even, or something, I don't know, like, just cool shit. Put cool stuff in there, but make it only uh, cosmetic, you get the point, I'm gonna move on to my next topic. Focus on esports, that's really what I want to talk about. The game has gotten so watered down that every single gunfight feels like a slot machine. I'm not kidding, when I play Infinite Warfare, whether or not I win a gunfight hardly ever has to do with my own skill. You know, if me and an enemy encounter one another, uh, it's based on basically connection uh, and, you know, uh, bullet spread. It's, it really has hardly anything to do anymore with reaction time or with, you know, drop shotting or outgunning or being able to hear them in your headset or any of this shit or knowing the spawns or anything. No, like, it's just complete, just bumping into people, interaction, interaction, and it's just, it's, it satisfies, you know, the, o, the, uh, ADD 10 year old, but there's no competitive nature to it. It, it's pretty, pretty gone. It's pretty much gone. Uh, you can't take Call of Duty and compare it to Overwatch. Overwatch actually takes skill on a competitive level. A competitive level. You can't compare it to Counter-Strike GO. You can't compare it to League of Legends. All these super, super mega successful games and Call of Duty is straying away from their formula. They have a very clear formula. Give everybody the same tools. You know, look at Overwatch, look at League of Legends, uh, look at, you know, Counter-Strike. Give every player the same tools right at the beginning of the match right they can choose how they want to play and then it's based on your skill and your map knowledge and awareness call of duty on the other hand is basically just a shitty spawn system the guns kill really fast and you're just constantly randomly encountering people and don't get me wrong there's still some skill left into it you know obviously if you've never played call of duty before and you jump in you're gonna get fucking slaughtered but I'm talking about the depth of that skill is very very shallow it's there's very little that you have to learn uh, in order to have a 1kd or, or higher you know um to play on optic level that's slightly different obviously but i'm talking real competitiveness you know league of legends style overwatch style those games actually require skill and that's just missing in call of duty and you know i think back in the day that was different call of duty's always kind of been seen as like a joke esport because it's not as it doesn't take as much skill as the other ones it's more reaction time um and call outs and communication but uh, you know, I feel like back in Call of Duty Ghost and th th things like that, and even previously, um, you know, about Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3, those games were much more competitive in my opinion, and I will say, Advanced Warfare was fun to watch competitively, uh, and it wasn't that bad competitively, um, but 
just recently, I haven't watched, I barely watched any of the Black Ops 3 uh, seasons. I didn't watch any Infinite Warfare seasons competitively because they're not fun to watch. They're not entertaining. I don't give a shit uh, about them, you know? So if they focused on esports and they focused on, you know, saying, hey, if you want to be good at this game, fucking dedicate time to it and actually grind and actually get good, actually get better. We're not just going to feed you kills. We're not just going to feed you these random encounters that react, that are based on, you know, reaction time and connection like you actually have to be good at the game you have to learn how to use good guns and that's how you get better and the reason that call of duty has strayed away from this is because they're afraid that if the game is too hard then the veteran players are going to destroy the little kids and then the next wave of people aren't going to buy the game but that's not the case because that's that's clearly not working your your sales are declining every fucking year and you're making the game easier and easier and easier and the sales are going down 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 and the reason is because people are not satisfied with your game they're not having fun with your game because you've watered it down hoping that people will enjoy it the younger kids uh, and even they're smarter uh, smart enough to know that this game is like cool for you know two months or whatever and then fuck this game there's a ton of other shit to do and they don't feel like they're getting better they don't feel like they're having more fun now that they're better uh, because they're doing just the same as they did the whole time so they get bored of it anyway so you have to make the game uh, one where you can see your skill progression and actually feel the effects of getting better at the game you know this is gonna be a really really um weird comparison but i've been playing clash royale on my phone like a lot lately because i've had a ton of work to do and that game yes there's pay to win aspects because you can spend like five thousand dollars on chests and shit and get a bunch of legendary cards uh but if you're versing two people that are the same level which matchmaking is pretty good with doing uh you know you can outplay one another based on the cards that you use and you have access to most of the same cards if you're that level eight or whatever you know so even a mobile game even a mobile game like this actually has more depth than call of duty and i stand by that it actually requires you to know when do i place barbarians when do i place a skeleton army when do i drop a dragon like that game you know it's a mobile game but it actually requires more strategy and more game knowledge than call of duty uh and that's really fucking pathetic because it's a free to play mobile game on my fucking phone uh and and i'm comparing it to a triple a title from activision blizzard that is just a watered down piece of shit uh and i'm serious i really do mean it you have to you have to dedicate time to making a game where players feel rewarded for getting better because if you don't do that then people yeah they'll buy their they'll buy the game this year but they won't fucking buy it next year because they don't give a shit about your shitty game uh that they're not getting better at because every encounter is basically the same so those are the main three main things you know don't have jetpacks yes keep the game a little bit faster paced just because that's how games are these days but don't have fucking jetpacks we're sick of that shit we don't want the future we i'm not i'm not gonna sit here and say that i want modern warfare 4 even though that would be cool and i'm not gonna say i want world war 2 i don't care really when it is um i yes i'd like to stray away from the future but just don't put fucking jetpacks in it that's really it's as simple as that um Focus on the competitive nature of the game, really, and take away the pay to win supply drop bullshit and actually put cool stuff in there. Cool cosmetic stuff. I'm all for it. I want to look like a fucking flame god or I want to look like I have lightning around my body or some shit like that, dude. Put some awesome shit like that. Don't put your pay to win garbage in there. And like I said, be competitive, please. That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been OmniArch and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Peace.